Hello everybody, welcome back to this channel. It is late in the day, 6.30ish p.m. I wanted to make a video today, but I wasn't really sure what until I had an epiphany while I was at work to do like a little cooking video. That is productive in two ways. Food, YouTube videoing. I'm gonna be making no-bake cookies, making chili. Both of these are very easy to make. I'll have the recipes in the description box down below. I'm not really a cooking YouTube channel. This is kind of a vlog. First, we're gonna be starting off with no-bake cookies. These are oat, uh, chocolate, and peanut butter cookies because they only take maybe like 15 minutes to make. These go much quicker than chili and I only have one, one square countertop space. So these no-bake cookies, you can make it without dairy, which is great because I'm kind of lactose intolerant. I'm using oat milk, melt butter, and it's plant-based. Oats, cocoa powder, peanut butter. You will also need vanilla, and a whole lot of sugar. Let's get going. I'm gonna be putting the stuff that we're gonna be boiling into the pot directly. We are putting in two cups of sugar. One thing I realized as of late is I think I enjoy like editing YouTube videos more than filming them, which I feel like for most people who make YouTube videos is like the opposite. I think most like pro YouTubers are enjoy like making the video more than uh, editing the video. I find that I enjoy editing it more. Doesn't mean I hate filming. I don't know, I like everything when it's like finished and done. Now we need half a cup of milk. Okay, so half a cup of oat milk. Now, if you don't have like oat milk or fake butter, you know, expensive shit, then just use like normal milk and normal butter. It'll work the exact same. These both taste exactly the same, the non-dairy version and the dairy version. I do recommend using oat milk though. Fourth cup of butter, three tablespoons, cocoa powder in. Let me know down in the comments like what kind of videos y'all would wanna see from me. Like I have so many ideas and most of the time I just do whatever I feel like. If you guys have any like specific video ideas, greatly appreciate your feedback in the comments. I have a new fun angle. Putting this on the stove top. Wait for this to boil, melts down real quick. Leave it on here boiling for uh, about a minute. So I got this recipe from my mom. Don't know where she got it from. I remember having these when I was younger. These always tasted real good. And they're super easy to make especially when I don't wanna like spend a lot of money on like sweets and stuff. Sweet treats are expensive. We gotta like keep stirring this. You know, fair warning, this will start to boil real quick. I recommend getting um, what I'm about to do next done first. So got a bowl, woo. We are going to be putting oats and peanut butter in and we won't be stirring it yet until we pour the chocolatey mixture over it. We need three cups of oats, half a cup of peanut butter, one teaspoon of vanilla. There's also the option of putting walnuts in this, but I don't really feel like it. So this here has been boiling for a minute. We are going to pour this over this. This is very unsafe the way I'm doing it. Since the sugary chocolatey bits are so hot, it's going to make the peanut butter and everything else in here just melt together better. We want to place this on some parchment paper before it cools. This is what we're working with. Parchment paper or wax paper. I'm putting these straight away into the fridge. My cats will like try to eat this if I leave it out. So we're kind of just getting spoonfuls of concoction here and we're just kind of plopping it down. I don't know if it matters how big you make them. You can make them real dinky if you want. Now, when you eat these, they may be like a little bit crumbly. They shouldn't be like too crumbly. If you follow the instructions like to a T, you should be fine. If you're having like problems with these sting together at all, I recommend using fake butter, but I know that can be expensive. Something I've been trying to do recently, prioritize healthier foods for myself, like healthy quick grabs and you know, stuff like that. If I'm gonna splurge on like anything, splurge on like healthy foods. I don't make like a lot, a lot of money. I make enough money to afford a one bedroom apartment by myself. Things are still tight. And I also don't have student loans. Makes it easier for me. If you're able to sacrifice some of your paycheck to get healthier food for yourself, and that would be something that would be 
somewhat financially responsible for you to do. I recommend doing it. Eating healthy makes you feel so much better. Now this stuff dries really quickly, so putting this on parchment, the quicker the better. Yum. I love how I'm talking about eating healthy while eating like sugar. <laughs> it's yummy. But yeah, put this in the fridge. Um, I pretty much got all the ingredients for the chili. Let's get started. Can opener. A bunch of great value canned stuff. You can kind of just throw a bunch of shit in the pot. If you hear my cats at all meowing throughout this, that is because I'm opening cans and they think it's canned food, even though I have already fed them. Doesn't really matter what you start off with. I just go off vibes. You need a big crock pot. I had like a really tiny crock pot that I thought would work best for me. I'm not gonna heat up a tiny meal in a crock pot. Go through a bunch of like effort to just have a little bit. Might as well make a whole week's worth of lunch and dinner. Canned green beans. Strain the water from this because you don't want it to be too watery. Putting in some chickpeas. Putting in some dark kidney beans. Black beans. When I was younger, if I were to like eat healthy, I wouldn't really feel it. When I became an adult, I realized that eating healthy makes me feel good, like it makes my body feel good, which didn't know that was a thing. Makes sense, but never thought of it that way. I try to eat healthy, try my best. Unfortunately, a lot of eating healthy is like meal prep. We have sliced mushrooms, corn, the lentils next. I couldn't find canned lentils when I was at the grocery. I got these dry little guys. This cilantro cooking base. Uh, ah, oh shit. There's mold on the inside. I'm putting in a bit of this habanero salsa. I'm gonna add some jalapenos. You know when you're in the kitchen for a while and then your like legs start to get sore? I'm feeling the burn. I should be done with this chili soon. I usually just cut this stuff on like the floor with my cutting board because we're pro fish today. I just realized I can put this cutting board on top of the uh, crock pot, have more space. So my boyfriend doesn't cry when he cuts onions. He thought that was a myth. It is very much real. I have no clue how it doesn't happen for him, but it just doesn't. At least that's what I remember. Ugh. I wish I had like a shield for this shit. When me and my boyfriend move in together at some point, I'm gonna make him cut the onions. If anyone has like any good recommendations for pepper jack cheese that's like fake plant-based cheese, let me know. The Daya fake cheese tastes so bad and dairy breaks me out. I think I've been like lactose intolerant my entire life. I was talking to my parents about it recently. When I was younger, I had to be on like a special formula because everything else just made me like have explosive diarrhea. The most expensive baby formula that didn't upset my stomach when I was younger was lactose free. White creamy products freak me out. I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like it. Also, we're cutting a potato. Mayonnaise grosses me out. Ranch dressing freaks me out. Can't do it. I will never drink milk. Don't make me drink milk. Even like seeing other people drink milk it grosses me out. Whipped cream. If I have it in a double chocolatey chip frappuccino, it's fine. In other cases, I can't really do it don't like cheese whiz or like plastic cheese. There's a lot of food textures that freak me out that I don't like. A few years ago, I was having a bad day. My mom made me like tuna melt. I was so hyped, I bite into it. There's mayonnaise on the inside of this tuna melt. And I just started crying, <laughs> freaking out. Ugh, I think it's my skin crawl. I pretty much put all the ingredients in. I usually like to put red onion in. I gotta put some water in. You gotta add some moisture to it. Technically this expired four days ago, but it's not fine. That smelled really bad, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm also gonna put this tomato paste in there. I also got this discounted for like 49 cents. I find it crazy like how expensive some like canned food is. $1.29 per can, which it should be like a dollar at most. Putting in some tomato, some tomato, tomato paste, uh, mixed vegetables. Putting in some more water. I'm just gonna add a clove of garlic. Look, it's starting to sprout a little guy. I'm mixing up this chili. So now we put in spices. Black pepper, chili powder, and paprika. 
cumin, curry powder, garlic powder, lots of salt. Okay, like I know like a lot of salt is like bad for you and stuff, but like I don't understand why it's bad for you. Haley, how do I know how much to add? Eyeball it. <laughs> Bless me. A whole lot of spice can make everything nice. We're obviously gonna do like a taste test. I did a good job, fuck man. We're just doing like a pre-taste test. We can also always like add spices later on, but obviously we want it to all kind of soak into the veggies. Oh my God, I got scared for a second. If you heard that crunch, that's just a lentil, <laughs> unmoisturized lentil. Now it is time to fire this bitch up. I'm just gonna put this on low for like eight hours. Hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more videos from me, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're subscribed and you don't have the notification bell on, do that. Have a great day. Y'all are awesome. Bye. Thank you for watching. Mwah, mwah, mwah.